Hi, I'm Greg from Owen Foils. Today we're going to talk about the humble base plate shim and how you can use it to micro tune your setup for the day's conditions. So simply put, the base plate shim just adjusts the angle between your fuselage and your board. Now in general, you want this angle to be as close to zero as possible. Early in foiling, different manufacturers had different standards as far as tail rocker and fuselage angles and base plate angles. So you could use a shim to make different equipment work together and bring that angle back to zero. What this video is specifically talking about is how you can use the shim to get more low end of your setup for a light day or more high end for a strong day. All right, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna get into some technical explanations of why this works. But fundamentally, all you need to know is to shim the front bolts to bring your board nose up, which gives you more control at high speeds and better touchdown performance and do the opposite, shimming the back bolts to get yourself more low end and low power conditions. So the phenomena that base plate shimming takes advantage of is the fact that your foil changes angle of attack depending on the speed. So what happens when you first start out and you're moving at a slow speed, the angle of attack needs to be high to provide the amount of lift to lift you and your board out of the water and maintain flight. As you increase speed, the foil needs less of an angle of attack to produce that necessary lift. And when you start going faster and faster, your foil actually moves into a negative angle of attack because if it stayed neutral or positive, it would produce so much lift that you'd rise right out of the water. This is just a basic physics principle in that for a system to stay still, the net force needs to be zero. So basically the combination of your weight and your board is producing a force downwards and the lift from the foil is producing a force upwards. So to balance these forces, the foil is moving through this range of angle of attack. One of the things I think causes a lot of misconception about the base plate shim is the fact that it's called a base plate shim and not a board shim. You're not actually shimming the foil, you're shimming the board. So the foil sets the angle of the system because that's how much lift you need. And the angle of your board relative to the foil is set by your base plate and the associated shim. So I think this would actually get a lot clearer if we just referred to the base plate shim as a board shim. But for now, because it's standard, I'm gonna call it a base plate shim. All right, so for this explanation, I'm gonna focus on winging, but all these techniques apply equally to foil surfing. So let's start with light wind winging. The fundamentals of how you get up on a foil is you're trying to generate enough speed with your board that you can reach, you can exceed the stall speed of your foil and transition from 100% of lift being created by the flotation and displacement and planing of your board to 100% of the lift being provided by the foil. So this is a gradual process and as you gain speed, you get more and more lift provided by the foil. The problem here is the stall angle of your foil is, you know, a couple degrees positive. So in order to get that maximum lift, you're moving your board through an angle through the water like this, which is very inefficient. What you want to do is have your board more flat, but when you're doing that, your foil is operating at zero angle of attack, so you're not getting much lift. And that's why people are doing this ollieing technique. A little hack you can do is using that base plate shim to decrease the angle of your board like this in a very extreme case. In this case, when my board is flat on the surface, I've got a positive angle of attack of the wing. So I'm getting a lot more lift out of that foil and being able to keep my board relatively flat on the surface and fly out of the water. So in this case, I'm recommending a one degree base plate shim for most cases, but this simulation is three degrees just to give more perspective. So here's our system. So this is what I'd recommend for light wind. You're riding along and your foil is set with an extra one degree angle of attack. So as you're gaining speed, you're getting more lift from your foil 
and doing those pumps with your wing and your board, you have to change the angle of your board less and get less drag induced by the board to get up on foil and go. The other benefit of a base plate shim for underpower conditions is pumping performance. Here you can see that we've got a positive angle of attack on the foil, and yet the board is more of a neutral angle. This makes it a lot more comfortable and efficient to be pumping the board along while still having that high lift and moving at a slow speed. Next, I wanna talk about high speed performance. In the case of high speed, our foil isn't struggling to produce the necessary amount of lift. It's actually producing a lot of lift and going in that forward pitching moment. So this can make riding very uncomfortable when you have your front foot lower than your back foot and you mitigate touchdown performance because when you touch down, you're sinking your nose. So if we apply this base plate shim, shimming the front bolts, we can still have that negative angle of attack of the front wing and we've got really nice touchdown performance and a more comfortable position to stand on our board. So try these techniques out for yourself and let me know in the comments how it's working for you. Subscribe to our channel for regular technical foiling content.